This hand comes from season three of the EPT. Four remain on the final table at Copenhagen. Hungary's Richard Toff and France's Bertrand Elki Gropelier are about to clash big time. Richard Toth is chip leader at the table. He can afford to be speculative, especially with ace jack of hearts. That's not particularly speculative given the range of hands that Elki is raising with. Yeah, if anything, he should actually re-raise. That's what he's doing. How much? It's a re-raise of 71,000. And just telling Elki, look, you were stealing, you tried, it didn't work, now throw those cards away. Well, that's the message he's trying to send, but Elki's sending a message back. He says, no, 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 I really do have a hand. He's lying, but you're allowed to lie in poker. He said, I was on the button, but I happened to wake up with pocket eights or whatever it really was. This is what good poker is all about. It's not 8-8 eight, eight versus jack-queen. It's thinking about what your opponent thinks, thinking about what your opponent thinks you have. It is a beautiful series of calculations, and it's what makes this a wonderful game. Well, there's the call from Richard Toth. We're going to see a flop. Elkie can't be happy about that. Is he going to give up now? Well, he may have picked up a straight draw, but Richard Toth's got top pair, and he's checking it. Elkie checks behind him. Now there's a spade flush on the board, and it's a over card to Toth's pair of jacks. That is a great bet from Elkie. I don't care if it works or not. That's a great oh. bet. Well, it hasn't worked because Richard Toth has called. He thinks his jack is still good. He's not going to give Elkie credit for the queen or for the spades. More than a million in the pot, and the river card is a six. Oh my god, it's the bingo card for Elki. He's made the straight. He started with a nothing hand, five, seven, and he's made a straight on the river. It looks like a complete blank to Toth. And Elki's been betting all along. And now he's moved all in. It's the biggest pot of the tournament. It'll decide who's chip leader. This is going to be impossible for Toth because if he tries to work backwards what Elki's hand is, nothing makes sense. If he's going to give him credit for a real hand, he has to give him credit for the spade flush. Elki knows when he goes into the tank like this, he doesn't have spades. There is a man who is sitting with the calm confidence of a Christian holding four aces. A tough decision for Richard Toth. He says he calls. Well, he's made the call, the cards go on their back and he sees the bad news. He was leading all the way until the river when Elkie made that straight. Sickening defeat for Richard Top. And Elki is the new chip leader at the table. To vote for this hand, click now and then share it with your friends.